The whole world is scrambling for a Chinese battery that everyone despised just 10 years ago. From Tesla in America to BMW in Germany, from Hyundai in South Korea to Toyota in Japan, every automotive giant is lining up to buy the same product from China, lithium iron phosphate batteries. This backward technology, made from the cheapest iron and phosphorus, was once mocked by Silicon Valley elites as low-end junk. What's even crazier is that even with a 120% tariff slapped on top, these batteries are still way cheaper than producing them domestically. In 2024, lithium battery prices dropped to $115 per kilowatt hour, marking the biggest decline since 2017. Chinese lithium iron phosphate battery prices plummeted even further to 0.33 yuan per watt hour, a staggering 63% crash. The cost of an electric vehicle battery went from something that could cover a house down payment to the price of a high end smartphone. Back in the day, the world's top automakers were all betting on premium nickel manganese cobalt ternary batteries with high energy density and long range. Nobody wanted anything to do with this iron lump. So how exactly did Chinese companies use a battery technology that the whole world looked down on to completely rewrite the rules of the global energy market? The lithium battery world had three completely different technical paths. Lithium cobalt oxide came first, but cobalt was too scarce and expensive. Nickel manganese cobalt and nickel cobalt aluminum called ternary batteries, boasted energy densities of 250 to 320 watt hours per kilogram with excellent range. Then there was lithium iron phosphate technology, or LFP for short, which used the cheapest iron and phosphorus materials. But LFP had a fatal weakness, energy density of only 90 to 160 watt hours per kilogram, almost half that of ternary batteries. This directly determined the range gap. With the same battery weight, ternary could go 600 kilometers while LFP could only manage 400 kilometers. In an era where range was king, pioneer vehicles like the Tesla Model S and Nissan Leaf all chose ternary batteries without exception, while BYD, which stuck with LFP, was mocked as technologically conservative. But Chinese companies saw things from a completely different angle. LFP had two overlooked core advantages, cost and safety. Early lithium cobalt batteries required 0.95 kilograms of expensive cobalt per kilowatt hour. LFP used no cobalt at all, and even ternary batteries needed 0.4 kilograms of cobalt. More importantly, LFP didn't easily catch fire or explode with thermal stability far superior to ternary batteries. This divergence in technical paths actually reflected two completely different industrial philosophies. The West pursued performance extremes, while China pursued a balance of cost and safety. This choice difference ultimately determined the direction of the entire industry. In 2016, the Chinese government's new subsidy policy nearly killed LFP. The new policy favored high energy density, with vehicles with range below 150 kilometers getting zero subsidies. This seemingly reasonable technology-oriented policy pushed LFP right to the cliff's edge. Even BYD, which had stuck with LFP the longest, couldn't hold out. The Tang 100 and Song EV300 launched in 2017 all switched to ternary batteries. By mid-2019, ternary batteries held 70% market share while LFP dropped to 30% and kept sliding. The entire industry believed this technical path was about to be eliminated by history. The turning point came in 2019. The government announced that electric vehicle subsidies would gradually phase out, cutting 50% right in mid-year. Without subsidy protection, the high cost disadvantage of ternary batteries was instantly exposed. At this critical moment, BYD launched a revolutionary product, the Blade Battery. This completely new design skipped traditional module structures, directly installing flat, elongated cells into battery packs, improving space utilization by 15 to 
The BYD Han EV equipped with blade batteries achieved 605 kilometers of range, while costing 50,000 to 120,000 yuan less than comparable ternary models. Even more shocking was the nail penetration safety test. A steel nail driven straight through the battery still wouldn't catch fire or explode. This video went viral across the internet, completely overturning consumers' perception of LFP as low-end technology. LFP began its comeback from the brink. The success of blade batteries was like a boulder thrown into a lake, creating ripples everywhere. CADL quickly followed with their own CTP technology and Qilin batteries, while other manufacturers rushed to join in. LFP battery shipments historically surpassed ternary batteries in 2021, with their share skyrocketing to nearly 70% by 2023. In 2021, BYD made a decision that changed the entire industry landscape, external supply of blade batteries. Moving from self-sufficiency to open cooperation, international giants like Toyota and Ford began purchasing BYD batteries. This opening move directly ignited a price war across the entire battery industry. The real killer blow came from the collapse of raw material markets. Battery-grade lithium carbonate plummeted from 525,000 yuan per ton in 2022 to 97,500 yuan per ton in 2024, an 81% drop. Lithium iron phosphate cathode materials fell from 164,000 yuan per ton to 42,000 yuan per ton, a 74% decline. Capacity utilization across the entire supply chain dropped below 60%, with some companies hitting just 40%. Behind this cost avalanche was another overlooked key factor, the disappearance of patent barriers. In 2022, core LFP patents expired, allowing global manufacturers to use this technology for free. But ironically, when patent protection disappeared, other countries discovered they had fallen a full decade behind China in supply chain development. Chinese supply chains demonstrated terrifying economies of scale and cost control capabilities. Even with 120% tariffs added on top, Chinese LFP batteries remain cheaper than domestic production. The victory of cost brought not just market share, but more importantly, opened up entirely new application scenarios. LFP batteries began rapidly expanding from the single market of electric vehicles into the much broader field of energy storage, redefining the economic logic of global energy storage. Traditional energy storage mainly relied on pumped hydro, building reservoirs on mountains, pumping water up when electricity was cheap, releasing it to generate power when needed. But LFP battery energy storage systems, or BESS, became more advantageous due to their cost collapse. While they only last one to two hours, they're extremely simple to deploy, entire systems fit in shipping containers, and can be transported to sites for immediate use. In Q1 2025, Chinese energy storage battery shipments surged 120% year-over-year to 90 gigawatt-hour. While everyone was still digesting LFP's cost revolution, Chinese companies had already begun positioning for the next battlefield, solid-state batteries. Meanwhile, traditional LFP technology continued evolving. LMFP, lithium manganese iron phosphate, improved energy density by adding manganese elements, while dual-firing processes made battery particles more uniform and performance more stable. CATL, BYD, and Goshen High Tech all plan technical validation in 2025 and small-scale solid-state battery production in 2027. BYD's second-generation blade battery will launch in the first half of 2025, reaching 210 watt-hours per kilogram energy density, supporting 16C peak discharge, with costs dropping another 15%. From despised iron lumps to global cost killers, LFP completed a perfect comeback in 10 years. And in the solid-state battery technology race that will determine the next decade, Chinese companies have already secured a clear first-mover advantage. As semi-solid-state batteries begin vehicle installation and technological iteration accelerates, 
A new energy era dominated by China is arriving. This era's significance goes far beyond technological and market victories. When Tesla's Berlin factory installs BYD batteries, when European and American energy storage projects can't do without Chinese solutions, when even 120% tariffs can't stop the crushing power of cost advantages, we're seeing a completely new logic of industrial competition. It's not the most advanced technology that wins, but the technology most suitable for large-scale application. Chinese companies used lithium iron phosphate to prove a simple but profound truth. In choosing technical paths, practicality often matters more than advancement, and cost control is more critical than performance extremes. While the whole world was pursuing technological Mount Everests, China chose to build a global energy superhighway, and this road keeps extending. Both cattle and BYD are developing sodium-ion batteries, replacing lithium with more abundant sodium, potentially driving costs even lower. Solid-state batteries, sodium batteries, higher energy density, LMFP, Chinese companies have positioned themselves on every possible technical path, ensuring they can maintain their lead no matter which direction the future takes. Now, this energy superhighway built on cost advantages reaches every corner of the world.